Imagine sitting in front of a computer and knowing that you have two incredible operating systems in front of you, but only one can be your daily driver. On one side, you have macOS, the sleek, polished system that has become the hallmark of Apple devices. Known for its seamless integration, design elegance, and a sense of reliability that most users can't help but appreciate. On the other side, you have Linux, the powerhouse of freedom, customization, and open source ingenuity. Beloved by developers, tech enthusiasts, and anyone who wants full control over every aspect of their system. Both are Unix-based at their core, both capable of performing high-level computing tasks, and both can handle your daily productivity needs. But, the real question is, what sets them apart? And which one should you truly choose for your work? Creative endeavors or personal use? Today, we're diving deep into the world of Mac OS and Linux, exploring their histories, architectures, philosophies, and practical applications, so you can make an informed decision. Let's start by looking at the foundation of each system, because understanding the kernel and core architecture is essential to grasp why these systems behave the way they do. Mac OS is built on Darwin, which is Apple's open source Unix-based core. Darwin combines elements of BSD Unix and the Mach microkernel, creating a stable and robust operating system foundation. This architecture allows Mac OS to be meaning it adheres to a set of standards for maintaining compatibility across Unix-like systems. This is why Mac OS can run many command line tools and development environments designed for Unix without much tweaking. The elegance of Mac OS lies in how Apple has managed to encapsulate this powerful Unix core in a user-friendly interface providing a system that is both technically sophisticated and approachable for everyday users. Linux ORN, in contrast, is not an entire operating system by itself, but rather a kernel. The kernel is the heart of the system, managing resources, processes, and hardware interactions. Different Linux distributions, Suka, Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, or Arch Linux, bundle this kernel with other components like Nitus. Desktop environments, and package managers to create a complete operating system. The beauty of Linux lies in its modularity. You can mix and match desktop environments, utilities, and software packages to create a system that fits your exact needs. This flexibility is unmatched, but it comes at a cost. Linux often requires a deeper understanding of system internals to fully harness its potential, whereas macOS provides an integrated experience that is largely ready to go out of the box. User experience is another critical differentiator between macOS and Linux. macOS is renowned for its consistent and polished interface. Every element, from system settings to built-in applications, is carefully designed to provide a seamless experience. Apple maintains strict control over its ecosystem, which means that apps available for macOS are typically well-optimized and designed to integrate smoothly with the operating system, whether it's switching between desktops, managing files, or using gestures on a tr macOS emphasizes simplicity and elegance. This design philosophy reduces friction and makes it easier for users to focus on tasks without worrying about compatibility issues or system inconsistencies. Linux, however, is all about freedom and customization. Depending on the distribution and desktop environment you choose, Linux can look completely different. You could run a minimalistic system with only the essentials, a full-featured system with graphical effects, or even configure your desktop to resemble Mac OS or Windows. The level of control you get with Linux is unprecedented, allowing you to change everything from the window manager to the theme of individual applications. But this freedom can be overwhelming for beginners, as the setup may require configuration files, command line tweaks, and an understanding of the ecosystem to achieve a polished experience. Software availability and ecosystem support also distinguish these two platforms. Mac OS excels in professional and creative software. Programs like Final Cut Pro for video editing, Logic Pro for music production, and the entire suite of Adobe Creative Cloud applications are optimized for macOS. For software developers, Xcode provides a comprehensive environment for building macOS, iOS, and iPadosis applications. Commercial software often targets macOS users because they tend to invest in premium devices, making the platform financially attractive to developers. Linux, on the other hand, thrives in the open source world. Most of the software available for Linux is free, community developed, and open. Popular applications include LibreOffice for productivity, GIMP, and Inkscape for graphics, Blender for 3D modeling, and VS Code or Atom for coding. Linux is especially favored for programming, server management, cloud computing, and scientific research. Gaming on Linux has improved significantly over the years, 
with platforms like Steam providing compatibility layers such as Proton to run Windows games. But Linux still lags behind Mac OS and Windows in terms of native commercial gaming titles. When it comes to terminal usage and development capabilities, Linux takes a lead in power and control. While Mac OS comes with a capable terminal that supports CSH and Bash, along with various Unix utilities, Linux offers unparalleled control over the system. Package managers like APTI Yom and Pagman simplify software installation and system maintenance. Developers can deploy servers, automate tasks with scripts, and tweak system behavior at the kernel level. Linux is the standard in DevOps, cloud computing, and system programming precisely because it provides this level of access and flexibility. Mac OS, while powerful, balances control with convenience. It allows developers to access Unix tools and scripting environments, but keeps many system-level processes abstracted to ensure stability and user-friendliness. For most developers, macOS provides a perfect blend of usability and Unix-based capabilities. But if you crave absolute control, Linux remains unmatched. Security is another domain where both systems excel, but in different ways. macOS uses sandboxing for apps, signed applications, and strict App Store controls to limit malware and malicious activity. Updates are regularly pushed, keeping the system secure without much user intervention. Linux, by contrast, is renowned for its security, particularly because it is open. The community constantly audits the code, patches, vulnerabilities, and implements secure configurations. User permissions are strict by default, and malware is rare due to the low prevalence of desktop Linux systems. That said, Linux requires users to take more responsibility for system security, as improper configurations can introduce risks. macOS offers a more hands-off secure environment, ideal for those who prefer convenience without compromising protection. Cost and hardware considerations often play a decisive role in choosing an operating system. macOS only runs on Apple hardware, such as MacBooks, iMacs, and Mac Minis. This integration ensures optimal performance, stability, and longevity, but comes at a premium price. Apple devices are expensive, but users pay for the design, build quality, and seamless ecosystem experience. Linux, on the other hand, is completely free and can run on a wide variety of hardware, from old laptops to high-performance servers, and even tiny devices like Raspberry Pi. This makes Linux highly accessible, particularly for users who want to repurpose older machines or experiment without financial commitment. The flexibility to run on virtually any hardware, combined with no licensing costs, is a major advantage of Linux over Mac. Philosophy and underlying values are the final differentiators that often guide user choice. macOS represents a curated, controlled environment where the system and applications are designed to work together seamlessly. The philosophy emphasizes reliability, simplicity, and user experience. Linux embodies the open source philosophy, prioritizing freedom, transparency, and user control. It empowers users to customize, tinker, and even contribute to the software they use. These philosophical differences manifest in practical ways. macOS users enjoy a refined, hustle-free experience, while Linux users embrace flexibility, customization, and the ability to fully understand and control their computing environment. In practical terms, choosing between macOS and Linux depends heavily on your personal and professional needs. If you are a creative professional working in video production, music, or graphic design, macOS offers a streamlined ecosystem, professional software and hardware optimized for performance. Its stability and support make it ideal for tasks where downtime or glitches can be costly. On the other hand, if you are a developer, system administrator, or someone who enjoys customizing every aspect of your system, Linux offers unparalleled control, open source tools, and a vast range of distributions to suit different workflows. For those who want to experiment with servers, containerization, cloud infrastructure, or coding in multiple programming languages. Linux provides an environment where you can learn and grow without restriction. Of course, there are also hybrid scenarios. Many developers and tech enthusiasts use both macOS and Linux, depending on the task. macOS might serve as the daily driver for general computing and creative work, while Linux runs on virtual machines, servers, or secondary systems for development and experimentation. The compatibility between Unix-based systems allows workflows to transition smoothly, and tools like Docker, SSH, and cross-platform scripting further blur the lines, making it possible to leverage the strengths of both systems simultaneously. Ultimately, there is no absolute 
better operating system. There is only the one that best aligns with your priorities, workflow, and personal preference. macOS is best for users who want a polished, intuitive, and stable system with professional software readily available. Linux is ideal for those who value freedom, customization, and the ability to control every aspect of their computing environment. Both systems are powerful, capable, and rooted in the reliability of Unix principles. The decision comes down to whether you prioritize ease of use and integration or flexibility and control. So, when you ask yourself, macOS or Linux, think about your daily tasks, your comfort with customization, your need for professional software, and how much control you want over your computing environment. If you value seamless operation, premium design, and an ecosystem where everything just works together, macOS will serve you well. If you love tinkering, learning, and customizing, and if you want the freedom to experiment without restrictions, Linux is the playground where you can truly explore the potential of computing. Both paths lead to powerful, capable systems, and the choice ultimately defines your computing journey. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Which system do you prefer, macOS or Linux, and why? Maybe you're a developer who thrives in the Linux terminal, or a creative professional who swears by Final Cut Pro on macOS. Share your experience in the comments below. If you enjoyed this detailed comparison, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more tech insights and comparisons, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. This discussion is just the tip of the iceberg, and the world of operating systems is vast, fascinating, and constantly evolving. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.